Hello YouTube, this is Nunman, and today is Saturday, December 8th, and I'm bringing you VED8 for 2012. Now today, as the shirt I've been wearing in the past couple of vlogs shows, it's not about just Aerosmith, but music altogether. Aerosmith is one of my favorite bands, if you couldn't tell from the shirt, and the poster I showed you guys, I think, in the, uh, in the room tour, which is over there being kind of blocked by my desk. This video could also be summed up as, uh... Let's go through Ryan's iPod. And yes, it's a classic. Got a problem? It's 80 gigs and it works. I'm fine with it. So let's go to the artists. Uh, I've got a lot of anime fan dubs on here because I like anime and fan dubs. Of course, Aerosmith. Uh, All American Rejects I used to really enjoy. But I, I, they're not bad, but I don't like them as much anymore. Uh, in Arbor I've got one song by... Artificial Fear is a Zelda cover guy, and I like his stuff. And he, he covers more, he does metal covers of stuff, and I have more, uh, he does other games than Zelda, but Zelda is what he's, as far as I know, most widely known for, and what I've got on my iPod. Ashtar Command. Oh, from Red Dead, from the Red Dead soundtrack, Dead Man's Gun. I hope I pronounced his name right. Atlas, I've got the uh, Persona Trinity Soul soundtrack on here. I just watched through that anime somewhat recently. Avenged Sevenfold, I've only got Waking the Fallen, their second album. I think it's their second album. Yeah, Waking the Fallen on here, which isn't... I don't think it's their best work, but it's... I like it. Black 47, an Irish rock band from New York. If you don't know who they are, look them up. They're pretty awesome, I think. It's, it's kind of Irish folk rock. Blink-182, I've got like four songs by. I have the Blues Brothers on here. Parental Flaws' first CD. C418, the guy who did the music for Minecraft. I have one song. I used it in a video a long time ago. I've got one song by him. Cage the Elephant. Borderlands introduced me to them, and I love them. I love them, love them, love them. No homo. Except if I was gay, I'd probably, you know. Shit. Uh, Catch-22. Good, good ska band. I'm not the biggest guy on ska, but I like Catch-22. Classic Gamer Dave, he did that one I'm on a Yoshi parody with NCS. Code and Cambria, I've got one song on. My friend Griffin, if you're watching this, Griffin, hi! Uh, Griffin kind of got me the one song. Crazy Frog, I keep that on for my little sister. Crush 40, I freaking love Crush 40. Sonic Music, it's really good. Danny Wiesner, he's the guy who did The World is Saved on IGN, and I bought it, and I love that song. Dragon Force, Through the Fire and Flames. Self-explanatory. One song by the Dropkick Murphys. It's not their best song. It's a cover, but it's good. It's uh, Greenfields of France, or No Man's Land. Ruox the Shredder, who's Drew Ox, and he's pretty cool. Foo Fighters are pretty great. I only have their greatest hits album, but they're pretty great. I, as I said in the Landmark Productions video, uh, The Pretender, that old series, its name was after one of their songs. It was named after one of their songs, to be more precise. Franz Ferdinand, I've got one song, Take Me Out, and it's amazing. I like it, and I want to get the rest of his album. Frankenstein, uh, he's a uh, dubstep guy. I have his dearly beloved dubstep feat with None Like Joshua rap rapping, and I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I have the Pokemon Black and White credits theme, because I liked it a lot. The Gaslight Anthem. The Gaslight Anthem, I love. My dad introduced them to me. They're... If you like Bruce Springsteen, they're a modern-day Bruce Springsteen, except there's more than one. There's more than, I don't know. Green Day. I Self-explanatory, I like Green Day. Green Day and U2. U2's on here as well. U2's good. Not U2 Young for this. Not U2 Young for this. The band U2. There's a poster of them out there. I have the Gurren Lagann OST, which stuff. Hollywood Undead, which is surprising because I usually don't like that kind of music, but I like Hollywood Undead. Especially Bullet. Bullet's my favorite song by them. I'm not suicidal, but I just like that song. Jonathan Coulton. I think I pronounced his name right. The guy who did the both Portal songs. I have, that's those are the ones I have. Jose Gonzalez. Uh, he did Far Away in uh, Red Dead Redemption. Kevin McLeod, Mac McLeod, no, I think it's McLeod, M-A-C-L-E-O-D, the guy from Incompetech.com. I used one of his songs in a couple videos. Kings of Carnage, they did a uh, 
Black Ops Zombies uh, Christmas thing, and I just kept it. Lemon Demon versus Soldier Boy. Soldier Quest. I'm so fresh, you can suck my nuts. That didn't really look like thrusting. I'm sitting down. I've got the uh, Yu Gi Oh! Abridge BB Bond BBT uh, soundtrack. Some Lonely Island. Lotus Juice, which is crappy rap. Crappy rap. Um, that was on the soundtrack of uh, Persona Trinity Soul. I've got both Mario Galaxy soundtracks on here. I've got Halo 3 soundtrack. One song from Mashup Germany. Matchbox 20, which they're they used to be better. They're kind of bad now. I liked them before. MC Lars, one song from him. He's funny. I Generation. A uh, mix of uh, Endless Possibility and Sanctuary from Kingdom Hearts and Sonic. I have Nickelback albums. Um, fuck you if you don't like Nickelback. I think they're good. My own opinion... Do what you wish. I think they're good. Perfect Confusion, which is Cage the Elephant before they were Cage the Elephant. They had one more, one other album. Rise Against. I only have their newest album, but it's good. Shadow Link 4321. Uh, he does, he did anime covers. Of uh, Rain and Golden Time Lover from uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, which is amazing. If you haven't watched it, you should watch it. Watch the original series first because... Uh, you know, I, I was planning a different vlog for this. Shady Vox, uh, some of his individual work. Sean Barrows, who did the uh, ending theme for uh, Shadow Complex, which is a future LP because it's a great game. Shine Down, uh, one of their albums, probably their newest. Persona 4 soundtrack by it's Shoji Meguro. I guess I hope I said that right. Shoko Nakagawa, who did the opening for Sorairo Days, and I still haven't gotten that ending from Brotherhood, the one she did. Skillet. I like Skillet. I've slipped that on here. I don't really like them that much, but my friend tried to get me into them. Smash Mouth, you know, somebody once told me the world was gonna stop singing now, cause I'm probably making your ears bleed. Soul Creek, he did Lavender Town dubstep on Newgrounds at one point, so I, I liked it. Sonata Arctica, which is a great European metal band. I think they're Finnish. Yeah, they are Finnish. Uh, I like them a lot. Sublime, the first album. Sublime's good. Tarantula. Tarantula is the people who did Row, Row, Fight the Power from uh, Gurren Tenacious D, the first two albums. I don't have uh, Rise of the Phoenix yet, but I heard it's good. A couple songs from, the tra from Treyarch. And Zebrahead from... His World, the Zebrahead remix. It's, and I also have the Crush 40 remix on here somewhere. Oh, I also have uh, Mask, Ocarina of Time. And, yeah, Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time reorchestrated by his Rio. So it's reorchestrated. And that's it. What do you guys listen to? Uh, what bands do you like? Other generic questions about music. Anyway, thanks for watching. Cyanide's video will be in the description. And I will see you all tomorrow.